Bro, I cannot with this anime no more. This is straight doo-doo. This is straight garbage, bro. You can't be producing filler forever. It's like, nah, bro. This episode was amazing. Episode 292 was straight fire. It was gas. It was that Zaza. It was that spice, bro. It was everything we needed for the code arc, bro. Thank you, 292. Okay, this was God-tier animation. I'm talking like 9 out of 10. Like, I had very little problems, with, if any, with this episode. The fight the choreography the movement the artwork the music everything in this episode was a banger bro of course there's always room to be improved we'll talk about it we're going to be as critical as we can but at the same time i'm going to be fanboying all over this damn review bro because boruto episode 292 spectacular okay that's the word i'm going to use to describe this episode spectacular this was a spectacle all right now there's a couple of key things i want to talk about before breakdown the whole fight and the animation and everything that every before we get into that let's just talk about shikamaru for a second and how this dude's shadow possession and his shadow paralysis and his shadow strangle and his jutsu is just like above the ototsuki right now like momoshiki couldn't absorb this right now kawaki and the manga has trouble with it so shikamaru god tier i don't know like let, let's talk about that later but anyway the episode right holy crap so it's like broken up into two parts where like we start off with Kawaki in base Momoshiki versus code and then out of nowhere Shikamaru and Naruto arrive and this kind of puts Naruto in danger Momoshiki threatens Naruto which triggers Kawaki and then Kawaki reawakens the karma seal now there's all of this stuff that happens before the karma seal and then once that karma seal is reawakened it's like holy crap god tier is happening right now now i'm not even going to say the precursor stuff wasn't god tier because this was amazing so in the beginning of the episode we basically start off with momoshiki who's taking control of borto's body in this instance is just launching off massive rasengans like it's a cannon like borto's just boom one two three like, i think he launched four massive rasengans in total this episode right three of them were launched to code and then he was going to launch a fourth then he shrunk it down and shot the Rasen Don into this dude's shoulder. So Boruto's packing heat now, bro. This is insane. Momoshiki can literally whip out the glick. Blah, 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 blah on dudes, bro. This is insane right now. So, insane animation, bro. I'm trying to tell you. And the artwork was everything. Boruto and Momoshiki transformation or whatever. The art design on that is fire, dude. I'm trying to tell you. Like, I was feeling like Vegito blue vibes bro when it was like momoshiki was fighting with his arms crossed he was chilling just kicking kawaki around like he was juggling a soccer ball this was insane bro and then he's over here bobbing and weaving the footwork on momoshiki right now literally sent kawaki spinning off of just one strike to the chest like momoshiki i'm trying to tell you when he's rocking boruto's fit it looks fire as hell like the evil color the black and the red bro that is my shit right there i'm not even joking in the nighttime aesthetic everything about this was fire right now basically momoshiki's super dominant and stuff he's got code worried he's got kawaki worried i just like hurry up and just bag up this dude and leave and then we learn some of the limitations with codes shinjutsu right it's compared to the flying regime right because you can leave a marker and then you can basically jump through space-time barriers to just pop up at the other marker but you're not actually instantaneously teleporting to said location you have to travel through the claw marks so they function more like a doorway and we see momoshiki literally kick this dude out of the claw marks like he's kicking him back into this dimension and then catching kawaki all in the, oh, the scene of him dragging kawaki by the collar like come here boy let's go You've been a bad dog. Like, that's what it was like. Momoshiki was insane. And then, and then, 
Naruto arrives, saves Kawaki. Shikamaru pulls up with the shadow possession. And since he's in shadow possession and he's technically supposed to be forced to do whatever Shikamaru is doing, he's not able to absorb it because Shikamaru is putting like everything in his power to stop him from absorbing. I don't know how it works. But you can't absorb shadow possession because like Shikamaru is not letting you. And then he weaves signs on top of shadow possession so that he can do the shadow strangle jutsu to like start restricting him more because Momoshiki's resisting. And he just breaks it. He was like, oh, I can't absorb it. Let me just pop, pop, pop. Like giving Shikamaru that eye. And he was like, now I'm going to go back to my business and handle Kawaki, bro. So this was insane. This was insane, bro. Like the massive Rasengan. Naruto sitting there ready to block it. Literally, he was just going to tank it. Like I'm wondering what was Naruto's plan. Because he's like, I can't move because Shikamaru is going to get hurt. And then I just have to sit here and tank this Otsutsuki Osama Rasengan. I said Osama. <laughs> Yo, we got to cut that out. The Odama Rasengan was lethal, bro. It was insane. And then Kawaki gets motivated by his uselessness to achieve the power he once had and reawakened his karma seal and absorbed the whole thing. So Kawaki's going into this fight, absorbing one of Momoshiki's massive Rasengans after Momoshiki launched off like four of them. All right, so Momoshiki's been spamming Chakra, trying to kill Code, trying to kill Naruto. This was a technique he believed would have obliterated Naruto. That would have been it, right? And if Naruto just stood there and took it, Momoshiki would have killed him. At least that's what Momoshiki's thinking. And then it gets absorbed. So Kawaki's like super amped and stuff. And then Momoshiki is kind of drained. So they're going into this fight pretty much on equal playing field, right? And the choreography right now is insane, bro. Like the fight, the back to back and everything. They were quite literally boxing on top of boxes, bro. This was insane. Kawaki's dropping cubes out of the sky with this Daiko Kuten. He's using Sakuna Hakona to launch those rods and everything. Momoshiki is dodging and catching the rods. He's literally grinding on them like he's skating or something, bro. This is not Skate 3 relax you know and then momoshiki's out here swapping hands with kawaki now this is insane because like i i got i got boxing in my family background and everything i like i like watching like actual boxing fights and everything and the way they judge those fights it's like a lot of the criteria is punches thrown versus punches landed and everything like that and there's a scoring system so like whoever landed the most shots technically wins the round now what, I, I could not figure out how many punches were thrown, right? I don't know how many like shots were thrown because that, that was just crazy. The animation was so fast. But I did my best to try to work out who landed the most clean shots, right? So I'm not counting any blocks or any stalemates or counters, right? Well, cancellations, right? But quite literally, it's almost tied. It's almost neck and neck, right? So right now, Momoshiki is leading the round with like most shots landed. But it's quite literally by one because if naruto hadn't interfered and kawaki had landed that cube crushing him bro it would have been the finishing blow and it would have tied for strikes landed but i'm not even joking dude they were legit boxing bro like momoshiki hit a clean like six piece on kawaki it was like one two slip slip one two three four yo that shit was crazy though even kawaki though even kawaki they were throwing hands they had a little rocky moment they both like decked each other right in the face it was insane you definitely got to check out 292 because me describing it is not going to do it justice but i do think it's interesting that the animators went out of their way to make it so like blow for blow they were even so like it's even harder for us to tell who was on top because kawaki only gained advantage when borto started to wake up and like regain consciousness and to be fair Part of Kawaki's hitbox counter, he gets three shots in from that interaction because Momoshiki is being hindered. Those three rods hit him and then he falls and that is his 11th hit, right? He was like down by like three and then he hit those rods. So like me counting it and everything was super interesting. It's kind of fun to watch the anime like that because I had to watch this fight like four different times in a row just to get all this information for you guys. And the chapter review is going to come out later. Because there's it's just Boruto Sunday right now. We got a bomb-ass chapter. We got a bomb-ass episode. And we get a bomb-ass video. So don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share, dude. Let me know what your thoughts of the chapter or on the episode was today, bro. Boruto episode 292. For me, it gets like a 9 out of 10. High 8 out of 10. Like 8.8, 8.9, right? Like for me, the only problem I had with the episode was the reuse of like Kawaki's animation from like a couple years ago when he 
fought, what was his name, Garo or whatever, the weird cyborg dude with pig breath. They reused that animation, which I, like, it's not bad animation, but I feel like the art style from two years ago just doesn't fit with the art style that they introduced throughout the rest of this episode. So things just felt, like, out of place. It kind of threw me for a lip, uh, for, for a loop, and they're putting way too much work into Kwaki's lips. <laughs> Alright, so that was for me, my personal ick with the episode but other than that dude great episode phenomenal it is a spectacle bro you definitely need to check out boruto episode 292 if you're just in boruto it was like limbo land where like the anime has just been dead for you check it out i'm trying to tell you it's on that 204 stuff it's on that baryon mode stuff it's on that sasuke and naruto versus momoshiki levels of stuff bro i'm trying to tell you momoshiki flew in and then launched a Rasengan, and Kawaki canceled it out with his punch, bro. Ugh! And then they gave homage to Naruto and Sasuke's fight, Kawaki quite literally using Momoshiki's hands to weave hand signs to launch a fire-style jutsu. Insane, bro. Definitely worth the watch. Check it out. Uh, what's it called? Don't forget to subscribe, check out my other videos, turn on notifications, because the Boruto Chapter 79 breakdown review, whatever, is going to be coming out after this one it's a lot more editing and everything i have to do we take the manga far more seriously um and instead of the anime episodes but this was spectacular holy crap i'm talking for a long time anyway i've been your man's grass ninja peace